hey, if you're into game dev and having a hard time getting a job or know somebody who is, then hang around because this video is going to be full of information that I think will be really helpful for you. First, though, it's New Year's, so I just want to say Happy New Year's to everybody. If you're watching this in 2024, drop a comment down below and let me know and let me know what your New Year's resolution is. So I wanted to start by reading off this comment. Raphael said, uh, I'm really trying to get a job in the game industry, but it's just impossible. You need a BS or master's degree in computer science and three to five years of experience in a AAA studio or multiple published small AA games, three plus, only to be considered as a junior. Then you have to pass three rounds of technical tests and one with HR and your future manager. Then if they offer you something, hardly ever, the salary is at the bottom of the barrel, or so they've heard. I've been trying for six months and not a single interview. I'm going to give up soon. Edit, happy new year. So again, happy new year's everybody. But I think this question is really good and shows some, I think, misconceptions about the industry and also points some things out that are important for everybody to understand No, and gives me an opportunity to talk about some tips that I think will really help here. So first off, when you're looking at getting into the game dev industry, to be honest, a bachelor's or master's degree doesn't really matter at all. There are very, very few places that are going to care if you have a degree in anything literally anything at all related to computer science when you're getting hired. There are a couple places. Some places are super selective and, and really do care about that. But most places care about what you're able to do and what you're able to get done and accomplish. Now, when you're coming out as a junior programmer or a junior developer trying to get into the industry, a bachelor's and master's degree can be a nice way to say that, hey, I've been studying and learning how to do things, but it doesn't show that you know how to do things. So they do generally want some level of experience. They want you to have built something on your own, worked on something with somebody else, or come in through the other way, which is having some sort of a referral. If you know somebody that works at the place, it's, again, a thousand times easier to get a job there than it is if you're coming externally. I've talked about this a bunch of times, but I think that's a really important thing to, to note. Um, if you have no experience and you're trying to come in, the best thing that you can do isn't necessarily just apply at a bunch of places. It's not even go get a degree. It's make some connections, make some connections at places like meetups and user groups. And while you're there, I, I think Jason Story kind of said this the best a couple of days ago on the Game Dev Show, said, you know, be somebody that people would want to work with. If you're there and you're argumentative and you have a really hard time getting along with everybody, you're probably not going to get many job offers. If you get along with everybody well and you're able to contribute and help when you go to meetups, user groups, hackathons, and things like that, you're going to have a much easier time. And by that, I mean when you say you're looking for a job at these events, people will actually be interested and consider you and talk to you. And that's something else you have to do is when you go to these events, talk to people about jobs. Don't go in there seeming super desperate, but do let people know, hey, I'm looking for a job. I'm trying to get maybe my first game dev job, I'm trying to figure out what to do and how I should get in. There are a lot of people at these types of events, again, local meetups and even online ones that will try to help you. Now, the part here, um, well, let's just continue on before I get to the end. There's some important stuff. The process for getting game dev jobs isn't always tons and tons of interviews. I know some places that have interview processes like this or even drastically worse where you're doing like multiple days like full days of interviews but a lot of places i'd say probably half of them or more you're going to interview with a, a small group of people maybe two to five people at most sometimes just one person and get an interview or get an answer within a day or so you're going to know relatively quickly a lot of the really small places the smaller indie places and double a studios this process is very, very fast. But again, it's often very heavily driven by referrals from somebody else. Because when you're working in, well, anywhere, when you're working at pretty much anything, but when you're working on fun, creative projects where there's opportunity to have disagreements about what's right and what's wrong and what's good and what's bad, one of the most important things is having somebody and having a team where you can disagree 
and still get along where where somebody's opinion can win and be right even if not everybody agrees and the whole company and the whole project can continue on if you have people that can't do that things fall apart really quickly and it's something that is kind of one of the key things to look for so having referrals lets you know one that somebody else is vouching for their technical ability and two that they're vouching for their social ability as well and you, you know obviously people's credibility gets kind of tied in with this but anyway I, I hope you get the idea there now let's go on to the next part which was salary salary is not always bottom of the barrel salary is it varies a lot just like with enterprise stuff there are some game developers that make a ridiculous amount of money there are some game developers who make no money um i think the median is probably a little bit lower than some enterprise development but it probably varies from language to language and platform to platform it's not low though it's still relatively good and the last thing i wanted to comment on was the last statement here and i've got a little bit of advice after that it says i've been trying for six months and not a single interview i'm going to give up pretty soon first i'd say don't just give up i mean six months is not really that long even six months without an interview not that long especially if it's the last six months, the last six months have been really bad for jobs in general and hiring, at least in the United States. The economy has been, uh, I would say, not ideal for jobs in general, game jobs, any tech jobs at all. So I, I wouldn't just focus it on those six months. Plus, I don't think that six months is long enough. To get a really good job, it can take definitely longer. That I think that you should be working and doing other stuff, of course, while you're looking for a job. If you're just out of work completely, you should do other job or have another job while you're searching for this. But while you're looking for a job, if you're not getting a single interview, I would highly recommend that you, well, first reevaluate where you're applying and how you're applying, what that process looks like. If you're just looking at websites like, um, what's that one, Indeed, or even, um, I like cyber coders as a page. I think it's pretty good. But if you're just looking at some of those pages and just submitting stuff, that's definitely not enough. You need to be actually looking into the positions that you're applying for and trying to apply directly. What I would recommend is if you find a job that looks interesting, maybe it's on one of those sites, Indeed or whatever, or um, GameDeveloper.net. I forget they they've got bought the Gamma Sutra got bought and it's got a new name now, but. If you're on a on one of the sites, you find a game dev job that you think is interesting. Don't just apply right there. Look up the web page for that job and for that that company. Go see if they're actually hiring first, because those big sites they don't just delete posts automatically. They're kind of incentivized to leave stuff up, so they have much more more and more jobs. So I've seen jobs that are like from companies that don't even exist anymore that are still posted online. So. Go, go to the web page first, and not just because you want to make sure that the job actually exists still, but because you're going to get more direct contact. You're going to be able to probably email the hiring person directly and send them your info, and I think you'll have a, a better opportunity or better chance. A lot of companies will set up multiple things for these jobs, and then they don't check them all all the time, depending on the size of it. If they have a big HR department, they may, may have some big process for it. But most of the companies, you know, under 20 people or so, they're not going to have a big process for this. You may be directly emailing the lead when you submit your stuff on there. And that's definitely way better than having it go through some automated system or through some recruiter who's then going to present you with a bunch of other people that you may or may not be their favorite of. So I, I highly recommend you go directly to the site, figure out exactly what they're looking for, and then apply. And then when you do apply, if you don't hear back within a couple days, just email them again and say, you know, get a little bit more info. Say, hey, I'm interested in this job because of these reasons, and you should have some legitimate reasons why you're interested. Maybe it's a game that you think is interesting or fun to work on because you like the game or you like the, think the technology would be fun to work on or you think that it's something that you can kind of add some value to and grow with. You know, call call those things out. I mean, mostly call out what you can do for it and why you think that it's interesting and why you think you would be a good fit for it. And then ask them, hey, you know, hey, I just want to make sure you've seen my resume. I'm really excited about this job because of these reasons and let them know why you're genuinely interested and then see if they um, and ask them, you know, if they have thoughts or if there's anything um, maybe lacking from your resume 
that would disqualify you. One, they're going to know that you're really interested and you're going to tell them why you're interested and hopefully you're going to actually be, be honest and have some real interest there and figure out what that is. And um, the, I guess we're up to four things already. The fourth thing is if they don't think that you're a good fit, you can have them tell you why. And they're much more likely to tell you why if you ask them directly in an email than if you just submit your resume kind of blindly. So I guess big picture, don't quit trying. I mean, sometimes it takes months or years. I don't think I got my, I think my first actual game dev job was like, it was somewhere between a year or two after I started applying. I applied multiple times, um, almost got a job once, and then the guy who was going to call me back ended up leaving. Um, so it was another fun story. Maybe I'll tell that one again sometime. Um, but it, t it took a while and just, just got to work and do other things and kind of grow in the process, like do other stuff that's, uh, that's beneficial w while you're working. But try really hard to put in a, a large amount of effort on the actual applications. But of course, make sure that they're actually hiring and that it's a good fit before you do. Don't, for the people who are out there, I'm not saying this person is directly, but for the people who are out there just going out and submitting three resumes a day on a website, like the, um, I think that's like the unemployment office requirement. It, it's, it's, there's almost zero value if there. You're not really getting much out of it. What you wanted, you've got to go through the process of making some direct connections, uh, doing actual applying for specific jobs, not just blanket applying for everything the same way and really focusing in on that. If you want to hear more about this, um, come join on, on every Friday. We have the game dev show and we talk about this kind of stuff and all kinds of other game dev stuff. But this is a topic that came up again last Friday and I, th I thought it was worth bringing up and, and talking about one more time. Anyway, if you like this, uh, don't forget to do thumbs up, subscribe, share and all that stuff. And if you're interested in multiplayer game development, I've talked about this a couple of times, don't forget to check out the multiplayer mastery course. There's a link down in the description below. You learn how to build peer to peer and dedicated server multiplayer games where players can come together and race or battle each other in a medieval RPG style setup with a extraction setup and character persists and all that stuff. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you have questions or comments, just drop them down below and I will probably end up doing a video about them. All right, see you later, bye.